on, girl. Fluff it out. Fluff it out. I want to look like a lion here. What's up, guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be an eye tutorial using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance Palette. I did create this kind of brown halo eye if you know what I mean. Um, I used all eyeshadows in that palette. I only did the eyes today just because I feel like you guys know what I do when I do my foundation. Although I do have a new foundation routine that I have kind of showed here on my channel. So I do plan on doing an updated foundation routine which is also another reason why I did not include my foundation routine. So, if you guys are interested in seeing that, please do not forget to give this video a thumbs up. Also, just give this video a thumbs up for the new Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance Palette. So, if you guys would like to see how I got this brown smoky eye, then please continue watching. So, like I mentioned in the intro, I will be using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance Palette. If you guys would like to see a first impression on this palette I will leave that linked down below I also did a couple of other first impressions in that video so go check that out but first I am going to start off by priming my eyes using the benefit stay don't stray eyelid primer and I just like to apply about three to four dots onto my eyelids I like to blend that out with my morphe e14 brush it is just a flat shader brush. I'm trying to get out of the habit of using my fingers for everything. So that is why I'm using a brush today. The first shade that I'm going to use in the palette is Tempra. And I am going to pack this all over the lid and all the way up to the brow bone. This is just going to help set that eyelid primer. With a Morphe 516 brush, I am going to take the shade Raw Sienna and I am going to just blend that into the crease. I'm also going to take Raw Sienna and bring that all the way into the inner portion of the eye just because we are doing a halo look. So since I'm still building up the crease, I am going to go in with a much fluffier blending brush and I'm going to take the shade Raw Orange and I am just going to buff this into my crease and above my crease. I really want to build up my crease. I don't want to right away go in with the brown shade just because if I do I feel like it's going to look really messy. So right now I'm just doing like baby steps and I am just going to build up that crease. I'm going to take the shade Cypress Umber and on a Luxie 229 tapered blending brush I am now going to do the kind of halo shape that I want. So with Cypress Umber I am going to first kind of pat that on kind of the outer V portion and I'm just going to literally like make little dots I guess with the brush and just pack it on as deep as I would want it. Whenever I do a halo eye I do like to kind of tilt my mirror downwards just so I can see where the placement of the shadow is. I hardly ever do my makeup like looking straight onto a mirror just because you can't really see the placement of any of your shadows and also it will not look as blended. Now I am going to take that into the crease now 
Actually, I'm going to take the Passanti Contour Eyeshadow 4 brush and I am going to use that brush instead to place Cypress Umber into the crease. Just because I feel like I have a little bit more control with the color. And then I'm going to go back into that Lexi brush and I am just going to go into the inner corner of the eye and just dot that color in there. So I'm going to go back in with that fluffy blending brush and I am just going to blend out the crease. I don't want to go everywhere with this brush on the eyelid. I'm just literally going back and forth into the crease just so that everything is just blended together. Now for the center of the lid, I really want something bright. So I'm going to take the shade Primavera and on a flat petite shader brush, I am just going to pat that onto the center of the lid. Now because it does look really unblended, I'm going to go back into that Luxie Beauty brush and I am just going to blend this out. Now for the lower lash line, I am just going to smudge raw orange across there first. This is just going to help with the darker shade. It's not going to look as harsh. So I really like to start off with a light color. Very lightly, I am now just smudging Cypress Umber under there. Just right on top of where I placed raw orange. Now that I'm done with the eyeshadow on this eye, I am now going to prep my lashes with some mascara for some falsies. I am just using the L'Oreal Voluminous Carbon Black Mascara. I love how dark this mascara is. It's super, super dark. For my lashes today, I am actually using a new pair of lashes that I've never used before. These are the Vegas Nay Lashes by Ilore. I believe these are the Easy Elegance style. They just look like this. The other one is actually out of the package with glue on it. So I am super curious in how these look. They feel really dainty and light, so I really, really like that. I'm just going to pop the eyelash on. I like to press into the center first. And then kind of pull and tug as to where I want it. Lashes are like super pretty and long which I like. So I am now done with this eye. I'm going to go off camera and finish up this eye and I will be right back. Now that the eyelashes are on, I am going to put a little bit of Vermeer into the inner corner just to brighten this up and finish up the eye look. And I realized when I was doing the mascara for my left eye that I just completely stopped doing this eye like really alley. Since I don't have anything on my lips right now, I decided that why not do that on camera. So I am going to take the Rimmel London Lasting Finish Lip Liner in Cafe LA and I'm just going to line my lips with that. And on top of that, I'm going to go in with my Bare Minerals Tantalized Gloss. Oh gosh, I love this lip combo. So that completes this kind of deep brown smoky halo eye. I don't know what to call this yet, so 
whatever it is, that's what it is. <laughs> if you guys enjoyed this eye tutorial using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance Palette, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Also, if you cannot get enough of me, then please subscribe as well. Also, leave me a comment down below letting me know if you guys have tried this palette. I am so in love with the new palette that Anastasia and Norvina came up with. I just, I am just in love with it, right? <laughs> So that is pretty much all I have to say. Please don't forget to subscribe, follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, Pinterest, Twitter, all that good stuff will be listed down below. And yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. Peace. I need to think of a new outro, for real.